Hi, I've got another software review here for you on a program called Slim Drivers. Now you can get it from www.driverupdate.net. It's a free download and it works with Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. And Slim Drivers allows you to scan for missing or broken or out-of-date drivers. Okay, all you need to do is come to this website and hit this big orange button here and allows you to use it 100% free, as you can see there. So let's have a little look at the program itself. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to have a quick look at the actual uh, interface here. And it's a really nice GUI interface, as you can see. Pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do first is come up to uh, the Options tab here. And as you can see, you can set this up how you like. Uh, check for automatic updates and, and, and so on. OK, also backup. We can automatically select the area where we want to back up our drivers. OK, and this is by default going into this location. OK, and we've also got the restore part, which allows us to restore the drivers. Now, backup will allow us to back up all the drivers that are installed on our system at this present time. So if we go to have a problem with our system we need to format, we can actually use this to actually reinstall the drivers that are on the system. I see this mistake so many times with people. They format it and then they lose their network card driver, especially on XP and stuff like that. And then they can't uh, get back on the Internet to get drivers for what they need to do. So this piece of software is really useful. OK, so restoring drivers, we would just need to come into this location and also update, which will allow us to go into here. And it tells us exactly uh, the settings there. Very useful, very easy to do. And scheduling really is exactly what it says on the tin. Basically, set a schedule up to back up and uh, restore and also download drivers. Now, personally, I would not use this facility uh, because I think once you've got a stable system, you don't need to constantly keep updating drivers uh, on the mouse, on the, uh, you know, certain parts of the system. You don't need that. The only sort of key areas are really if you've got problems, which will be chipset drivers and also graphics card drivers, maybe update those. But if it's working fine, hey, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. So let's have a little look uh, at the next tab. We've got a restore tab here. This allows us to restore our drivers and we've got the actual backup. So if we go to the backup section first, and what we'll do is we'll back up uh, our drivers. I'm going to click on this and it will basically just back up all these drivers on the system, which shouldn't take too long at all. OK, that's now backup complete. And that would have gone to the location where we've done that. And if I want to restore, which I'm not going to bother, but basically you just come here with a clean machine and it would actually you'd have to make sure that you've backed up them drivers to a, a USB drive or something like that external drive not onto the C drive and you've just gone and formatted it otherwise you'll have no backup drivers to install okay hope that makes sense let's have a little look basically where it is it should be in a users uh, application data local or something and in this uh, vicinity here there we go and there we have a backup section okay now this is the uh, actual section that I would actually put on the actual external hard drive or pen drive um, let's have a look how big that is it should be too big okay so it's only 121 megabytes so you would need to back that up and that will be the one that we use to restore it in that case you would need to come to the location restore from and you would pick the location it's no good picking this if you formatted you'd need to pick the actual pen drive okay so let's move on to actually scanning for drives on the actual server. Now this is really a valuable service because if you're finding it hard to find, hard to get drivers, especially for older machines, then these types of software are very useful because it allows us to search a huge database of drivers that are on their server. Now I found very hard to find difficult drivers to get for graphics cards for ATI and some of the older machines and I've used this types of software and it's got me out of a jam very quickly so it's very useful in that respect as you can see it gives us a list of drivers that we can actually download if we want to I can put the ticks in ignore if I wish or I can just put a download now and it will up download it and update the driver okay so I'm not going to bother doing any of this but that's all you need to do okay so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these types of videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button show your support and also if you wish to have a, a problem solved of yours then head over to the forums the link is down on the bottom of the screen right now and uh, it's free to join up there and uh, post your problem up there and I'll do my best to help you for free okay 
Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.